A soil test is very useful, but farmers also need to stop soil being lost from their farm with rain or wind. Soil erosion will take the good soil from your farm and you will not be able to grow good crops. As you know, we have in Kenya this soil erosion taking all the good soils from our farms because we don't manage them quite well. They go and pollute the rivers. So people are depending on that for water use. They are getting poor quality water. Mm -hmm. And that is why we are saying we have to focus so much on our soil because we depend on it for our livelihoods. What are the solutions? One of the issues is that we have to go in for soil erosion control, especially when we are looking at the landscape management. We start on farm. You will find the upper part of the farm is more fertile because farmers can easily use organics and mineral fertilizer because of the distance from the household. All farmers have to know the knowledge on how to manage their soils. And that will be a collective responsibility for the community so that some of the soils that are running to pollute the rivers are not doing that. And then we can be able to retain that soil in the place where it is supposed to be. To stop soil being taken by water or wind, you need to make terraces or contours to hold the soil where it is. When soil is washed away, it pollutes rivers, lakes and dams, so that people cannot use the water there anymore. So you're saying one farmer can affect the community at large? I can give you an example. If a farmer had up to strike a weed seed, if it is carried through the surface runoff, it is going to impact on the neighbor so that he has again another infestation of striga on the farm, which eventually reduces on cropping. And looking at uh, our farmer's uh, shamba, do you think he has managed his resources well? He's trying his level best, but I think he is not yet up to the management that is required. We could focus on the uh, declining soil fertility problems. Within even the farm, we have all this uh, soil variability. Fields that are very close to the household, they usually tend to have more inputs than the fields that are very distant. One example, the soils that are very far and which have problems like this one, you'll find there is less organic matter content in it. It's a bit sandy and also loose in that there is no stickiness. Eh? But the ones which are with organic material, it's sticky, which means they hold more water which can be used for the plants to pick up the nutrients from the soils very faster, and that one will result into higher yield. And like this one, because of the texture, less organic matter and less mineral nutrients, you find the productivity is always low. But it can do better? Definitely. And he has now to focus on the lower feeds. And the, this one he has now to bring more of the organics down, he has also to bring more of the mineral fertilizer down, and he has to do a bit of residue retention more downwards here. Like the mist over, all the crops that he, after harvest, you should be able to leave it and plow it in so that we have more organic matter into the soil. Now, Peter and John, I can see you're both holding maize stalks. Where did you get this one from? This one, I got it from this lower part. It's still in your shamba? It is in my shamba. <laughs> and that one? It's also my shamba, but the upper side of the land. This is explained. The field, which is very close to the farm, has all those components. And even in terms of water retention, it is high, so that nutrients can be picked up by the crop, and then you have better yields. There you will get less than a ton per hectare. Here you will get about six to seven tons. Wow. Peter's maize is healthy and tall near his house because he has been putting all the manure on the soil near his cow shed. He needs to put more manure on the lower fields where the soils are poorer to get his crops to grow evenly so he can get a good harvest from all his fields. What can I do? Can I carry this manure up from there to this place? You have to do your farm plan well. You don't have to waste more resources there. You now spread the ones with the less resources. I know there will be labor involved, but the yields that will be able to come out will be able to cover that. So you need to transport that farmyard manure and also mineral fertilizer.